Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode where today we're reviewing a color changing LED table lamp. And you guys are currently watching Clearly. today's episode we're reviewing the Tekken DL31 LED table lamp and the good thing about this table lamp is it is color changing it has RGB it's dimmable it can do white light it can do well white light it's warm light you know cool light same thing the surprising thing about this LED lamp is there's actually no app that you need to use it's you can do all the RGB and the warm and cool light settings with your hand so that's actually surprising. I was really hoping that there would be some sort of app, but I'll show you guys how you still can use and actually utilize this LED lamp. But before we actually get started with this tech reviews and gadgets episode, make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and alerts when we do upload. Have any questions or concerns, leave a comment, enjoy the video, leave a like, and also share this video out to anybody who may be interested in some sort of RGB LED lamp. And then also, if you guys actually want to check out this product, get more detailed specifications or parameter details about this LED lamp, that kind of stuff will be down below in the description for those who are interested in that kind of info, alongside with the link to make a purchase if you want to buy this particular model. But with that being said, we're going to move over to the first look and unboxing portion of this video. As you guys can see, the overall packaging of this LED lamp is fairly simple. There's a few specifications and details on the box itself, which we're going to take a closer look at with a secondary camera angle. So as you guys can see, it just says Tekken. We have a visual representation of the LED lamp, and this is the LED table lamp, and this is the model right here. Let's actually proceed to unbox this LED lamp. I'm going to move this stuff off to the side. We're going to pull out the LED lamp. So let's take a look at the different accessories first. So we have a user manual, and I do recommend you read this user manual so you know exactly what you're doing. And I think this is like a product service card, so if you need to get in touch with the company, they su um, um, supply the info that you guys can use to get in reach with them if you need assistance. And I believe in this box, we have our adapter that we need to use to actually plug in to this lamp. This is our AC slash DC adapter that we need to use to supply power to this LED lamp. So let's actually take a look at the LED lamp itself now. I'm gonna pull it out of its plastic bag. This has a really, really interesting design. And you guys can see we have like a ring control right here, which is really nice. And I think this is where we need to use to actually control and change this LED lamp. But overall, it has a really, really low profile and it looks really nice and presentable. So what we're gonna do now is actually proceed to the testing and demonstration portion where we test out this LED lamp. So let's actually proceed to test out this table lamp. We need to untie our DC cable. And now what we need to do is attach this port into the back of this table LED lamp. So we're going to plug it in. And now you guys can see it's perfectly in. And what I like about this design is now this DC port or cable is going to be flush with the table. And now what we want to do is plug in our AC port into our PAL adapter. So this lamp actually has two different modes. It has like the white light mode and then it also has the colorful mode. So in order to turn on the white light mode, we basically need to short press on the ring. So let me press down. Oh, it looks like we're in colorful. There we go. And now you guys can see the LED lamp is on. And what I'm gonna do is actually turn off the lights so you guys can actually have a better view of this LED lamp. So we have the lamp currently on. This is gonna be interesting with how to use it. So you guys can see I just increased the brightness and it looks really nice. Look at that. So that's the lowest setting. If I go back, that's the medium-ish kind of setting. And if I do it again, that's like at its full brightness. So you guys can see it's a very, very bright table LED lamp and it's doing a fantastic job. If I swipe again, it turns off. Swipe, lower setting, medium, high. And now let's say I actually want to go into the colorful setting. So if we do a long press now, it's gonna switch into the RGB. And I think as a preset, it cycles through all the different colors. So right now you see you guys can see it went from red, orange, and the yellow. Now it's going into the greens. And it's also starting to go into the blues, 
He was short lead. Man, that's a nice green. Look at that, guys. Now it's going into like the nice little blues. And what I like about it is as it's actually changing to all these different colors, it's actually giving off a very vibrant look. Especially like imagine if it was completely dark right now, you guys would really see the colors really pop off. And wow, look at how deep these colors really are. It's doing a fantastic job. Look at that. Man, that hot pink is just nice. And if you wanted to, you can actually stop it at your own color that you want. So it doesn't need to just cycle through all the different colors. In order to actually do that, once it becomes the color that you want, um, you basically just need to press the panel once. So like right now, if I wanted to keep out this green, if I press it, it should stop at green. And you guys can see now it's not changing the color. It's stopped at that exact color. And if I click it again, I believe it should start cycling again. And you guys can see now it's getting into uh, turquoise and it's getting into the light blues and into the dark blues. Let's say I want this color. Click it, it'll pause. And now it will stick and stay as this color and not continue to change. So it's really nice. And then if I want to continue it, you click again and it should start changing into all the different various colors. And you guys can see now we're getting into the violets. Very soon we'll get into the hot pinks. As you guys can see, it's getting really hot now into the fuchsias. And it's looking really, really nice. And if I want to tone this off, all I got to do is hold down and it should power off. So just like that, short press does the warm light. And if I long press, that's where you get the RGB. But if I want to tone it off, all I got to do is do a very long press and it turns off this table LED lamp. But with that being said now, we're going to move over to the final thoughts and remarks and end off this video. So what are my final opinions and remarks about this table LED lamp from the company Tekken? Well, as you guys can see, it did a fantastic job. There was a lot of different color modes and different way, things you can actually do with this lamp. But with that being said, we're all going to conclude our video right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode. And if you did, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and alerts when we do upload. Have any questions or concerns, leave a comment, enjoy the video, leave a like, and then also share this video out to anybody who may be interested in a table LED lamp. Also, if you're a business owner or a company owner wanting to potentially work with us, our business increase email is creoyt outlook.com you guys can shoot me a message if you want to potentially work with me or if you need any assistance with this product you guys can do so by reaching me out through my business increase email and then lastly if you guys actually want to get more details specifications or parameters about this Tekken um, I think it's the DL the yep, DL 31 LED table lamp um, that kind of stuff will be down below in the description for those who are interested alongside with the link to make a purchase if you're interested in buying this particular product we reviewed today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode. I know I didn't make it and I'll see you guys all on the next episode. Clearly signing off. Thank you guys all for watching and have a good rest of your day.